We're here in Paul Brown Stadium, home of the Cincinnati Bengals. And we figured to have a little rain out there today as the 49ers get set to take on the Bengals. Both teams eager to get today's action started, so let's go to the field. Waller is just about ready to kick this one away. This one is taken by Mathis. Well, John, it's been raining since early morning, and how do you see the weather affecting the offensive approach to this game? I was watching both of these teams during warmups, and I saw well, guys slipping and sliding all over the place. It's not going to be easy for the offense, that's for sure. Number 43, the lone setback with the throw. The wide receiver has it. McGuire is there for the tackle at the 25. Watch this hit. He gets his helmet right under his chin, and wham, he takes him straight to the turf. When it's raining like this, it can make it very hard to get a good grip on the ball, especially guys with smaller hands. So they'll have to do a good job of keeping the ball dry before each snap. Third and five. Ball on the 25-yard line. Watch the man. The 49ers line up in a 4-3. Back it up, baby. Defense, get ready. He tucks it away. Smith comes up to make the play. Good pick up on the ground as they convert for the first. Here's the thing. They were looking run and brought the blitz. But the back just used his vision and elusiveness to avoid him and get past the marker. Ball on their own 32. The 49ers with a four-man front. Keep it up. Everything you got. Give it to the halfback. Adams is there for the tackle at the 36. This is one of those games where you just keep running at Adam. Four yards here, five yards there, and loosen him up, and then wham, you knock him out late in the game with that long touchdown run. Ball on the 36-yard line. No stop, no stop that motor. The 49ers line up in a 4-3. Play action. Rolls right with the throw. They'll knock him out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Johnny has such a quick release, and the ball is out before anybody knows what's happening. That makes it hard for him to be sacked, and it gives the defenders less time to react. Ball on their own 44. Ball on the 44-yard line. Keep the throttle down. Hold him up. The 49ers come out in a nickel pack. Going to the air on first down. It's batted away. He had to unload that pass in a hurry. Yeah, he felt those guys closing in and gunned the ball out of there. Second and ten. Ball on the 44 yard line. Nothing. They don't get nothing. They don't the 49ers line up in a 4 3. They wanted to pound it through the middle, but they got pounded for a loss. I'll tell you, that was a perfect time for these guys to call a blitz. They got in there, filled the gap, and brought down the back for a loss. So they dug themselves into a hole here, a long third down situation. Trailer will work out of the shotgun. Dropping back, under pressure, throwing. And he hits his target. Swift is there on the stop. At the 45. Pass. 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 
Carson. We're talking about Reed. Looking for room. Great fake. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. This one will be spotted at the 34. Newberry looks to be shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. Bates comes in to replace his injured teammate on the defensive line. The 49ers come out in a 4-3. Gets the pass off. You know, as a receiver, you have to be aware of so many things. Where the first down marker is, where the defenders are, and where the sideline is as you stretch out to make that catch. Number 43 was the intended receiver on that play. And this is the 11th play of this drive. Only one man back. All on us, y'all. He turns it away. Spins away. Smith is there on the stop at the 34-yard line. Well, even though it didn't work on that play, I like that strategy. They get their back running full speed around end, looking to match him one-on-one -on -one with the smallest guy in the field. Third down, and they'll have to try to get it to the 24-yard line to pick up a first down. So an update now on the injury. It doesn't appear to be anything serious, and his return is probable. With the throw, Lane is there for the tackle at the 20-yard line. Another first down, this time through the air. And if they're not just picking up first downs, they're picking up first downs on third down, which is even more impressive. And this is the 13th play of this run inside the red zone. Number 43 is the deep back. Swift comes up to make the play. Number 43 takes it up the middle for a yard or two. Fourteenth play of this drive. They're inside the 20. The 49ers line up at a 4-3. So a gain of about one. One yard gain on the play. Newberry returns from being injured. Oh, this is tough for you. Deuce it, deuce it. Hey, watch the, the backs screen. are lined up Keep in an eye. Down. Drops back. Pressure. Firing a ball into the end zone. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Watch this play. He's able to find a hole in the defense and he gets into the end zone. Now that's an example of how to use your personnel in the red zone and how to create mismatches. The extra point attempt is good. Great job moving the ball down the field for a touchdown on their first possession. I really like the way these guys came right out after you on offense. They made the right calls, executed properly, and put that one right in the end zone. Henderson will be kicking off. He got all of that one. This one is handled by Bannister. It's still very early, but this is one of those spots where you'd like to be able to respond and put the ball in the end zone. The ball on their own 20. Start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Cincinnati using three linebackers. Handoff to the tailback. Fakes the handoff. Gets the pass off. And pass falls incomplete. Turner was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Get it up! 
Cincinnati comes out in their nickel package. Throwing. And he drops the pass. Pretty good coverage downfield as the pass falls incomplete. He had some room up in front of him to scramble out of the pocket and pick up a few yards. Maybe he should have done that. Third and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Let's go now. Keep moving. Cincinnati comes out in their nickel package. Closing in. It's rid of it. This pass is incomplete. Two balls thrown perfectly that they couldn't grab. Now it's fourth down. You usually won't see two drops in a row, but it's especially bad because they haven't moved the chain. Allen comes into the game for the punt. Mathis sets up to run back the punt, and he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made after 44 yard line. Ball on their own 44. Ball on the 44 yard line. The 49ers line up in a 4 3. Hand off to the tailback. Setting up play action. Throws it. Can't hang on. Trail is the injured player on the field. So they're coming out for this next play, so we'll find out what the story is. Second and ten. Ball on the 44 yard line. Here we go, baby. Rock and roll. Let's go, let's go. Only one man back. Gets the pass off. Right on target to the wide receiver. He zips that pass in the air and picks up the first down. He looks for the open guy in any play, but there is a progression. You look to your first guy, then your second, and so on. He did a nice job of going through the progression that time. Trailer returns from being injured. The 49ers come out in a 4-3. Tucks it away. Play action with the throw. Intercepted. That was a good play, turned bad play. Good because their zone defense worked well, bad because he dropped the interception. That's one he wishes he could have back. Second and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. The 49ers with a four man front. Gets rid of it, swings it out to the left. Law comes up to make the play. No gain. No gain on the play. Third down play here. They have to get it to the 36. The defense lines up in the nickel. Let's turn it up, D. Drops back. Gets the pass off. The 20. The 10. 5. Touchdown, Bengals. When you get this kind of execution, you got a great chance of making a big play. Watch it here as everyone takes care of their assignment. Pass is thrown where the receiver can make the best play in the ball, and it's six points. The point after is good. And a great finish to that drive as they got into the end zone and the defense is going to have its hands full trying to keep them in check. They're really executing out there. Seems like just about every call they make works to perfection. If the defense can get them to ball back quickly here, they might be able to put this one away very early. Henderson is back and ready to put this one in the air. This one is fielded by Bannister. Of course, a three and out on the offense's last possession. The ball on their own 26. Starts the drive at the 26-yard line. 
first and ten. The Bengals with a four-man front. Hey, let's go. He'll pass on first down. Pressure coming. Looking for the long completion. Ooh, nearly picked off. The defender makes a good play to break up the deep pass. Yeah, he had great coverage, but the ball should have ended up in his hand, not on the turf. Second and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. The backs are lined up in an eye. Don't make the play. Hand it off. Number 95 is there for the tackle at the 29. Mixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on. Third and seven. Ball on the 29 yard line. The Bengals come out in a nickel package. Hand off to the tailback. Under pressure. Gets the pass off. Flowers is there on the stop at the 46. The powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Yeah, and you talk about putting some heat on your throat. This guy really let it go. First and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. Cincinnati goes with a four-man front. Direction. Miller comes up to make the play at the 47 yard line. One thing these guys don't want to do is give up in a running game. Because if they do that, they become one dimensional. And that plays right into the defense's hands. Ball right around midfield. Ball on the 47 yard line. Cincinnati using three linebackers. There we go. We're talking about three. Tosses it right. Chandler is there for the tackle at the 48-yard line. They have quick defenders who read the play really well. And they always seem to take the right first step. Once a play develops, they're very good at recognizing where the play is going, and they can close on the ball carrier very quickly. The Bengals come out in a dime packet. Down he goes. The offensive line just lost the battle up front on that play. They have to keep their shoulders square, keep their inside foot up, and they're going to get beat again and again. Coming now to punt it away. Mathis sets up, waiting for the punt. Fair catch. Fair catch made at the 25 yard line. The Bengals will start the drive at the 25 yard line. First and 10. Yes, run, The 49ers with a four man front. Pump face, looking for something long. Almost picked off. And he's back in his zone. He's reading. He sees the quarterback the whole way. And then he gets a chance at an interception. He just didn't finish the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Blue game, blue game. The 49ers line up in a 4-3. Here we go. Hand it off. Cumby comes up to make the play at the 32-yard line. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and the score is 14-0. Bengals. San Francisco. And we're ready to start the second quarter. Ready for the second quarter. Ball on their own 32. Ball on the 32-yard line. Let's go! Let's go! The 49ers come out in a 4-3. He hands it off. Nice play thing. Fires this one deep. Drops the interception. Number 81 was his intended target. Ball was there on the cover.
So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. Now you start to look around and you figure who are the go-to guys? The guys who can respond and get this game close again. They'll all on their own 32. The 32 yard line. First and 10. The 49ers line up in trips bunch. Gets the pass off. Chandler comes up to make the play at the 40. Excellent recognition by the receiver, reading the coverage and adjusting his route accordingly. Option routes are receiving routes designed to take advantage of the coverage. It's up to both the receiver and the quarterback to make the same read. The receiver reads zone, but the quarterback reads man. You can see passes going right to the defender. Hand off on the draw. Nice throw. Is there for the tackle. The defense is trying to shut down the running game early to force him to pass. We'll have to see if it works and causes him to give up on it here in the first half. Second and seven. Ball on the 37 yard The Bengals line up in a 4 3. Miller is there on the stop at the 33 yard line. This is a spot where you want to show the defense that they have to respect the running game. Defense, defense, defense. On third down, they have to get it to the 30 for a first. Here we come. The Bengals with a four man front. And off to the tailback. Number 96 makes the stop before the first down is reached. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Waller lines up for the field goal to try to put them on the board for the first time in the game. But the field goal attempt is good. Is good. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. This one is fielded by Mathis. The offense takes over after they were three and out on their last possession. The Bengals will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Hey, watch the ball. Left, left. Watch the man. Play hard and fast, baby. With the pass, and the catch is made. Cumbie is there for the tackle at the 39-yard line. Trailer guns it in there for the completion. I'll tell you, this guy has one of the biggest arms in the NFL. He put it all he had into that one and got him a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. The 49ers line up in a 4-3. Nice move. Swift comes up to make the play at the 48. A solid running game starts with a blocking of the offensive line. But the ball carrier must have good vision so he can take advantage of the holes that they open up. Ball on their own 48. Ball on the 48 yard line. Number 43. Malone setback. Great move to get free. Another incompletion because of the rain, John. So how do the players adjust for conditions like this? Well, the first thing you want to do is keep the ball as dry as you possibly can. Maybe you use a little more clock in your possession. Maybe you run it a few more times. And I really don't think that you change your game plan all that much. The offense has been stepping it up on third down all day. Play the counter play. Green is there for the tackle at the 47. This direction play works well there. Yeah, it worked because they got the linebackers going a step in the wrong direction. 
And they were a step late getting to the ball. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 47 yard line. The 49ers line up in a 4 3. The rush is on. Throws it. Law is there on the stop at the 35. They'll move the chains with that completion. Yeah, and that was a great recognition by the quarterback. Knowing where to go with the football against the blitz and knowing how to get it there. First and 10. Ball on the 35 yard line. To carry it. Dewberry is there for the tackle at the 28, number 32. Appears to have sustained an injury and will make his way to the sideline under his own power. Second and two. Ball on the 28-yard line. The 49ers come out in a 4-3. Defense appeared to have jumped a little too soon. Right on the money. Outside. 59. Touchdown. Henderson comes in for the extra point. The extra the point after is good. Big players make big plays, and that scores touchdowns. Give some credit to the linemen out there. They're the biggest guys in the field, and without them, no one gets into the end zone. This one is fielded by Bannister. The 49ers face an uphill battle as they begin this drive. At the 20. The 49ers will start the drive at the 20-yard line. First and 10. We're talking about green. The Bengals come out in a 4-3. Fires this one deep. He made the count. He brings it in for a big game. Almost every wide receiver gets better at running routes as they get older. And this guy's no exception. Ball right around midfield. The Bengals come out with eight guys in the box. Miller is there for the tackle at the 47. Good play by the linebacker to get into the backfield and stop the play for no game. I'll tell you, that comes from watching a lot of film and knowing the tendencies of the opponent. That was a heck of a play. Ball on their own 47. Ball on the 47 yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Going to the left. Maestro makes the stop at the 48 yard line. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Ball at about midfield. So an update now on the injury. It doesn't appear to be anything serious, and his return is probable. Rosen. This pass is incomplete. He fires the pass, but it's overthrown. I don't think that guy could hit the water if he fell out of the boat. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. Allen is ready to pump this one away. Mathis looks like he's ready for the return. And he signals for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 12-yard line. Right. 
First inside their own 20. Ball on the 12 yard line. The 49ers line up in a 4 3. Smith is there on the stop. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Number 32 returns from being injured. The 49ers with a four man front. Looking for room. Cumby is there for the tackle at the 19 yard line. Third and a deuce. Ball on the 19 yard line. Consistent success on third down, which they've had, usually translates into a win. Gets rid of it. He didn't want to risk an interception and decides to throw it away. Walker comes into the game for the punt. Bannister lines up deep for the punt return. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made at the 41 yard line. They'll Almost at the two minute mark the now. First and 10. One of us will make a play. Watch a man. Number nine with split backs. Going to the air on first down. Looking for something long. And he drops the pass. The coaching staff thinks that he has some of the best hands on the team. Kind of surprising to see him drop a pass like that. Two minute warning coming up. There we go, baby. Rock and roll. Cincinnati comes out of the quarter defense. Uses the punt. Pressure. Throwing. Knocked down. Maestro had his hands on it. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass and he makes his move. But he'll drop a few like that one. Almost at the two minute mark now. The 49ers line up in a five receiver set this time. Incomplete pass. The defense was coming after him on that play. He knew he didn't have much time, and he decided to get rid of the ball quickly on that one. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. Andy waves for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 21 yard line. Ball on their own 21. The drive at the 21 yard line. First and 10. The defense lines up in the nickel. The pass on first down. Gets rid of it. He finds his man. Can't draw it up any better than that. First down. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. We're talking about Green. The 49ers with a four-man front. Rowing. Broken up. Williams was the intended receiver on that play. The intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Come on! Two deep. From the start, from the start. Yes! Oh! Play hard and fast, baby. Let me go! Drops back. Fires this one deep. And he slips out of bounds at the 26-yard line. He definitely has a little playmaker in him. 
and he's showing it with every catch he makes. So we have a challenge. The officials are going to review it. Whenever a questionable call happens in the last two minutes, the review is called from upstairs. It appeared he did a great job of keeping his balance along the sidelines. Yeah, and the only question is, did he step out? That's what I think they're looking for in the booth. There's an incomplete pass. The player was out of bounds. The guys upstairs made the right call as the referee overturned the call and got it right. Yep, and it's important to get the calls right in these last two minutes. Here is a third and long situation. A 36 yard line. Nice job so far on third down for the offense, and we'll see if that continues here. Gets the pass off, and it's caught. That kind of thing always makes me shake my head. What was the guy thinking? A short pass reception like that will never get you the yardage you need to move past the first down marker. Bannister into return. So the punt goes out of bounds. First Ball on their own 27. On the 27-yard line. No stop, no stop, that motor. Hey, watch the screen. The Bengals come out in a dime package. Dropping back to pass on first down. Rowing. Complete to the wide receiver. Mullet balls it in, but he's tackled right away. Second down coming up. Second and three. Ball on the 33 yard line. Number nine spreads them out. Drops back. On the run. Right on target to the wide receiver. Terrell didn't have much room to do anything with that one. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of trying something fancy, like going for the pick. Ball on their own 34. Let's go, beat you. Cincinnati doesn't appear to have enough speed on the field to match up against these five wideouts. With the pass, and the catch is made. Number nine fires complete, and it's good for a first down. Yeah, he excels on third down. Some quarterbacks just do. What they're doing here is keeping the defense from huddling up. He keeps the same defense on the field. He hits his receiver. You know what this does? It keeps one defense on the field. And it doesn't let them get the right personnel in there sometimes. It's a blitz. Rowing. Caught out of bounds. I think the quarterback just let that one get away. It was the one they were trying to get the ball to. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. I think this defense looks forward to these third down situations because they've been stopping them today. They'll put this one in the air, trying to convert with the throw. Incomplete. Good timing, getting in between the ball and the receiver to save what would have been a big game. Will come in now to punt it away. Chandler back to return. He signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made after 12 yard run. Deep in their own territory. One back. Number 43, the lone back. Yeah, let's go, baby. it off to the back. The back breaks free. Screen is there on the stop at the 26-yard line. 
And that game will get them a fresh set of downs. It was a great run. He saw his blockers create some room for him, and he accelerated right through the hole. Going into halftime, the score is 21 3. Bengals. 21, San Francisco. 3. We're ready to begin the third quarter of play. Henderson in to kick this one off. Bannister back to return. This one is taken by Bannister. The 49ers have their work cut out for them as they take over at the 20. With the rain and the wind, John, we talked about a low scoring game at the outset, but it hasn't turned out that way at all. The ball on their own 20. Start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. The Bengals come out in a 4 3. And up to the tailback. The Bengals scoop up the fumble. Now this is how they teach you to tackle. Watch this one right here. You're getting good tackle position. Deliver a shot. Knock the ball right out of it. They're inside the start the drive at the 20 yard line. Second and seven. They have a big, big lead. And they're on the move again inside the 20. Eight is there for the tackle at the 17 yard line. Number 43. Manages a yard or two on the delay play. It's third down now to convert. They have to get it to the 13. These third downs haven't been much of an obstacle, and it's helped them take the lead. Gets the pass off, and it's complete. Law is there on the stop at the six-yard line. Pickup of 11, and it's first and goal. It's first and goal at the six. The 49ers come out in a 4 3 with the carry. Lane is there for the tackle at the three. First and goal, he can't get into the end zone. It's second and goal at the three yard line. Get it up. Let's go now. Let's go. It's show time, baby. Gets the pass off. Almost in a second. Oh, man, he had it in the end zone, but dropped it. That's the second worst thing that can happen to a defender, to drop one like that. The absolute worst thing is to have your man beat you for six. It's third and goal at the three. They've executed very well on third down so far, and that's a big reason why they're ahead at the moment. He gets the carry. Bradford is there on the stop at the three-yard line. No can do. The defense comes up with a stop on third and goal. So this should be an easy three. The veteran connecting for the field goal. So after the field goal, the score is 24 to 3. Bengals.
Henderson will be kicking off. This one is taken by Bannister. The 49ers need to rebound quickly as they start this drive at the 20. Ball on their own 20. First and 10. The Bengals line up in a 4-3. With the carry. Setting up play action. Gets the pass off. This one falls incomplete. A little too much touch. The intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Will, will, will. Hey, let's go. The Bengals with a four-man front. Fernandez moves in motion. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. Flowers with the stop at the 40. Give him some time, he'll hit his man. And the thing is, he doesn't care how big that window is. With his accuracy, everyone's open. First and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Defense, get ready. Number 23, the deep man. Great fade. Throwing. You just can't find a way to bring that one in. It's hard to figure out how a pass like that could go right through your hand. The quarterback made the right read, and he delivered a very catchable ball. He just didn't catch it. Second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Bengals come out on a nickel pack. Gets rid of it, and he makes the grab. Flowers comes up to make the play at the 39. A risky throw, but they're able to complete it. First Ball on the 39-yard line. Ball on the 39-yard line. Get it up! I can do it, man. Go make the, play. the Bengals line up at a 4-3. Oh, yeah. Little misdirection. Spotted at the 37 yard line. It's his third tackle in the contest. Number 23. Battles his way forward for what appears to be a two yard pickup. Ball on the 37 yard line. Ball on the 37 yard line. Only one man back. Number nine with a man in motion. Throws it. They're going to spot this one at the 14-yard line. It's the fourth stop he's made today. A powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Not only did the quarterback show off his strong arm, but the receiver displayed some amazingly soft hand. A great throw with an even better catch is always an easy way to pick up first down. First and 10. Ball on the 14-yard line. They weren't able to get into the red zone once in the first half, but here they are in the third, inside the 20. He finds his man, and he's brought down at the four-yard line, and that tackle gives him three in the game. They get another first down here. Well, they're not doing anything fancy, but good old-fashioned drop back and pass, and it's working. Four more yards to the end zone. On the four-yard line. Stay both now. From the start, from the start. Only one man in the backfield. With the counter play. Chandler is there on the stop at the five-yard line. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. It's second and goal at the five. Let's go, let's go. Defense, get ready. Crosses it out to the left. Hawkins comes up to make the play. You know, Johnny always seems to be in perfect position to make a play. He's all about effort. His motor's always running at 100%, and he's got the experience to diagnose plays very quickly. He is the magic number right now. The Bengals come out in a nickel pack. Touchdown, 49ers. This is a good play by the offense in the red zone. The wide receiver is going to break away right here 
and come up with a catch and a touchdown. The extra point attempt is good. Turner had his number called several times on that touchdown drive. Yeah, it's nice to have a receiver like him who can catch a lot of passes and keep the sticks moving. Waller comes in to kick off. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. This one is taken by Mathis. Just about ready for the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last drive. The Bengals will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. What's the hard count? The 49ers with a four-man front. Pass play here on first down. Closing in. Deep throw. And he lets it slip out of his grasp. Even though that pass was incomplete, that kind of pass stretches the defense. Softening up the middle for passes underneath while allowing the running game to take advantage of a little more room at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Number 81, the motion man. Looking to run it here. Smith is there on the stop at the 25-yard line. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. It's third down and five to go. Two extra defensive backs. The defense is in the dime. Gets rid of it. And it's complete. Bradford comes up to make the play at the 32. This is good communication between the quarterback and his receiver to keep the chains moving. They know where the first down marker is, and they recognize the type of coverage the defense is playing. The ball is there, and so is the catch. in the league average four to five yards a carry but there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game you got to have good play calling good blocking up front and a back that can take advantage when he sees the open the Bengals line up in trips bunch and off to the tailback stronger Brown is there on the stop at midfield Number 43, fighting for yardage that time. He's able to reel off a nice game. First Ball in, midfield. Ball on the 50-yard line. Let's do our thing, let's do our thing. Rock the foot. Let's go. They soft, man. Hold the look. Oh, no, dude. the counter play. Runs through the tackle. Hayden comes up to make the play at the 47-yard line. They might not be busting off big games, but those linemen are really working hard down there. Ball on the 47-yard line. Ball on the 47-yard line. No more, fellas. Looking upfield. Great fake. This one falls incomplete, and it will be an interference call on that play. The only one the defense, on the defense. The number 26, Lane First interferes down. with the receiver. I think the defender was beaten there. He just decided to grab hold of the receiver. First and 10, ball on the 32-yard line. Get it up! The 49ers come out in a 4-3. On the carry, play action, throwing, and the catch 
excuse me. So they're able to pick up another first down. And this offense is clicking. They're making the right calls at the right time. Eighth play of this drive. Let's see what they can do in the red zone. The last time they were inside the 20, they came away with three points. Gets the delayed hand. Bradford stops him for negative yardage. Great read by the defensive line there, John. They knew exactly what was coming. And knowing what they like to do out there comes from lots of film study and preparation. When you know what a team likes to call in certain situations, third and long, second and short, it really gives you an edge on defense. So with the ball in the red zone, they have a very good chance of extending that lead. Swift comes up to make the play at the 12-yard line. That's another pretty good game. Let me tell you, this is the kind of guy that you can build your offense around. And this is the 10th play of this drive. Down inside the 15. Hey, watch the screen. All right, now. The 49ers come out on a 4-3. Tucks it away. Flips the tack. Green is there on the stop at the three-yard line. Completed three quarters of play, and the score is 24 to 10. The Bengals. The Bengals begin this final quarter at field goal range, and they already own a two-touchdown lead. It's first and goal at the three. It's on. Blue down, blue down. Out of the eye formation. Hands it off. Touchdown, Bengals. When it comes to a play like this, the lowest man with the best leverage is going to generate the biggest push. Seems that the offense got plenty low on that play. Henderson comes in to attempt the point after. The extra point attempt is good. They go up by three touchdowns after getting that one into the end zone. This one is taken by Bannister. They need one quick score and then some more. So they have first and ten here. Number 23, the lone back. Seer comes in motion. to the halfback. Flowers is there on the stop at the 31. Hey, if you can keep running the ball in the fourth quarter as you're playing catch-up, that's an advantage that you have over the defense because it keeps them off balance. Gets rid of it. Pat it down at the line of scrimmage. So, second down upcoming. The receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Watch the man. The Bengals come out in a 4 3. Everything you've got. Rolling out to his right. The pass is picked off. He anticipated that one perfectly, and he's right there for the interception. He's one of those guys who's always prepared. He watches film, studies plays, learns tendencies. Let me tell you, he's going to be one heck of a coach someday if that's what he wants to do.
After the interception, they'll set up shop at the 46. You turn it up. Here we go. Go low. Go low. Let's go. Let's go now. Hand it off. Green comes up to make the play at the 46-yard line. Number 43 kept his legs moving, gets seven hard-earned yards. Ball on the 46-yard line. Go make the play. The 49ers line up in a 4-3. Drops back. Going long. And thought he had something long, but there's no connection, and it's third down now. Third and two. Ball of the 46-yard line. Out of the eye formation. It off to the back. Swift is there for the tackle at the 41. Solid yardage on that run. You know, people say you got to run the ball, you got to control the clock, but the key thing is you have to run the ball successfully. You have to establish a threat that you're going to make the defense respect. Trailer out of the gun. Get it up. Pass play here on first down. Going deep. And he steps out of bounds at the 11-yard line. You talk about great concentration. Watch this. He's able to keep his feet in bounds, make the catch on a perfectly placed pass. So after that nice catch and run, here's a look at his stats. Hey, watch that screen! He gets the cap. Bradford is there on the stop at the nine. Number 43 takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Nine yards, he'll be in the end zone. on the nine yard line. Deucer, deucer. Yeah, you see me. Let's go. Dropping back. Fakes the throw. Pressure coming. Throwing it away. He couldn't find a receiver, so he threw it where no one could get it. Nine yards will get them six points. The defense has had difficulty stopping them on third down. Here comes the blitz. Looks to the end zone. And big play coming up from the safety spot to knock it away. Safeties are being called on now to cover more than ever. He made a great play on the ball. So this should be an easy three. The attempt is good. The Bengals have it all working now as they continue to expand their lead. Henderson is back and ready to put this one in the air. Sends it sailing. This one is fielded by Bannister. It sure doesn't look like they're going to be able to come back in this one. But it's an issue of pride. They want to prove that they're better than they've played so far. The 49ers will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. The Bengals come out in a nickel package. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Tucks it away. Hawthorne comes up to make the play at the 27 yard line. Pickup of about eight. Second 
second and three. Ball on the 27-yard line. That's a hard count. Come on. Here we go. The Bengals come out in a dime package. Gets rid of it, and he hits his car. Flowers is there on the stop at the 41-yard line. This is what they have to do. Keep making completions down the field and move the chains. Watch this one. He knows he's got to get the first, and he picks the right guy to throw it to. Turner helped his yards after catch average go up on that last play. They give it to the halfback. Is there for the tackle at the 33. Number 23. Kept his legs moving. Gets seven hard earned yards. Ball on the 33 yard line. Ball on the 33 yard line. Cincinnati with six defensive backs. Under pressure with the pass. Right on target to the wide receiver. He makes another catch to put him over 100 yards in receptions today. Six yards away from a touchdown. The Bengals line up at a 4-3. Floats one into the end zone, nearly intercepted. Looking for the touchdown on first down but couldn't get it to his target. It's second and goal at the six. Only one man back. Number nine sends a man in motion. Drops back. Pressure. Looks to the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. A great call, and the throw is right there, hooking up for a fourth quarter touchdown. The coach is telling them to go for the two. With the pass, the two point conversion attempt failed. back quickly so they're going to try the onside kick onside kick Cincinnati recovers it. we could see some of the backup offensive players coming in here they've got this thing pretty much wrapped up so about three minutes left The 49ers with a four-man front. Hand it off to the back. Cumby is there for the tackle at the 33-yard line. Number 43 has had a great game so far. Now has over 100 yards rushing. Second and nine. Ball on the 33-yard line. The 49ers come out in a 
Play. He breaks the play up in the backfield. The Big tackle there for loss and great pursuit there, John. You can say that again. He knows how to prepare, and it really pays off when you make stops like that. Third down here as they try to get it inside the 25-yard line to convert. And we can attribute this lead to their ability to convert on third down. Law comes up to make the play at the 35-yard line. Cincinnati has six failed third down attempts, John. Well, they're not making the plays when they really need to. They need someone to step up and get this team going. Henderson needs to put everything he has into this one. Maybe where they try something towards the end zone, since they'll have three more downs to work with after that. So they're ready to go on offense after the missed field goal. They'll start at the 42-yard line. The Bengals come out with three down line, seven defensive backs. Wide receiver has it. Number 96 is there for the tackle at the 45. He's trying to hurry them back to the line. Steps up, gets rid of it. He didn't want to risk an interception and decides to throw it away. Ball on their own 45. Ball on the 45 yard line. Not today. Cincinnati with six defensive backs. Throws it. Flowers comes up to make the play at the 44-yard line. The yards that these receivers make after the catch are a great indication of their physical ability. It shows that they are creative, that they can create yards by using their speed and making the defenders miss tackle. Let's see how this defense handles the no huddle. They'll bring the blitz. Gets rid of it. Ooh, nearly picked off. And they have to go to the air because they need big plays fast. That's right. you got to have composure in these situations. Find your receivers who can pick up yardage after the catch. But most importantly, you have to keep the chains moving. Ball on a 37-yard line. Go make a play! Cincinnati might have difficulty covering all five receivers with a base 4-3 defense. With the throw, almost picked off. No choice here, John. They just have to keep throwing. Yeah, they do. Running the ball isn't going to do a whole lot of good now. Well, if the defense can stop them one more time, they'll get it back. Here we come. Let's go now. Dropping back. Rowing. He hits his receiver. Miller is there for the tackle at the 31-yard line. He's rushing the offense back to the line. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. They'll spot this one at the 20. The tackle is his fifth of the game. They're going to keep it moving here. They're heading straight to the line. Blitz is coming. Throws it. And it's caught. This one will be spotted at the eight-yard line. He stopped him there, and according to our numbers, that's tackle number six for him. Looks like they'll go with a hurry up here. The rush is on. This one falls incomplete. He appeared to feel the pressure there. So many passing attacks in the NFL rely on timing. When you can put pressure on the passer, you never give him a chance to get into a rhythm and you force him to throw the ball before he wants to. Second it's goal. second and goal Roll at the eight. Here we go. I can do it, baby. Hey, watch the screen. 
The Bengals line up in the quarter defense. Hey, watch that three! With the pass, and he makes the grab. Chandler comes up to make the play at the two-yard line, and they're going in the middle. To the end zone, drops the interception. Got away with that bad throw on third down, John. The defender did a great job of breaking up the touchdown, but still, he should have had himself a pick. corner runs through the tackle can't get into the end zone so close they failed to put points on the board and those are points you just can't leave on the field in the fourth quarter ball on their own three Takes the delayed handoff. Adams is there on the stop at the six. Number 43 eclipses the 100-yard mark on that carry. Ball on their own six. One of us gonna make a play. Let's run, man. It's go time, baby. The final score is Cincinnati 34, San Francisco 16. San Francisco 16. This game is presented by the authority of the National Football League and EA Sports. Any publication, rebroadcast, or other use of the descriptions and accounts of this game without the expressed written permission of EA Sports is prohibited. This is Al Michaels. Good night.